Hello everyone. Welcome to the next lesson in Power Apps course. In previous lesson, we have learned about how we can create a Power Apps using an Excel sheet. And in this video, we are going to start with developing the Power Apps using SharePoint as a database. So in this video, we are going to develop an employee database application. So without further delay, let's get started. For now, I have divided the employee database application or development into four parts. In the first section, we are going to see about what is the overview of that application and what are the business requirements and how we can create the SharePoint list for that application. In the next video, we are going to learn about how we can create a landing screen for that employee database application. Then in the next video, we will see how to create the employee details screen for performing the CRUD operation. That means how to add a new employee, how to create, uh, sorry, how to update the employee, how to delete the employee, how to read the employee details. All these uh, things we are going to cover in the third video. And in the final video, we are going to perform the filter, search and sort functionalities on that application so that whoever is using that application, they can filter or search or sort based on different parameters. So let's first start about what is the application overview, what are the requirements and let's create the SharePoint list as well. So click on this link and here I have uh, explained you what this application does and what is the use of this application. So employee database Power Apps application can be used to manage employee information and data in a centralized and organized manner. Suppose you have an organization and uh, you have 20 to 30 employees in your organization and you want to manage the employee information at centralized place so that in future whenever you want to get some details about a specific employee you can just use that application to view the details of that employee so the some potential uses of this application can be for record keeping so as i said the application can be used to store and maintain the important employee data such as their personal information or contact details or job title and department or the employment history like that date of joining date of exit and all then uh, this can be also used by the employees to view their own information and they can also make the updates on their personal details such as their contact information and bank account details so let's see what is the list schema that we will need for this uh, development of this application now for those who don't know what is schema what is list uh, i have already created one video about sharepoint basics uh, in this course and you can watch that video about what is sharepoint list and how to create the list now list schema means uh, what are different columns that we need to create in that sharepoint list to store different information for example if we create a column called as first name we are going to store the first name of the employee Similarly, if we create a date of birth column, we are going to save the date of birth of that employee. So uh, these are the different columns that we are going to create in our SharePoint list in this video. Uh, and this list we, we are then going to use uh, while developing the Canvas app that is Power Apps for this employee management uh, application. So let's first start uh, creating the SharePoint list schema. So I will open uh, the leave app so this is a SharePoint site that we have created in our one of the previous video I'm not going to create a new SharePoint site if you don't know how to create a SharePoint site you can watch my previous videos so for now I'm going to use the same SharePoint site for creating the employee information list so first go to the site contents of this list of this SharePoint site uh, let's first uh, delete the previously created SharePoint list for employee management. Now uh, I don't have any list in this site so I'm going to create a new fresh list. I'll say from blank list. I will name it like employee database and I'll create that SharePoint list. Now as soon as that list is created we know that the SharePoint by default create one title column which is our first column let me close this window which is our first column and in that that is a single line of text actually this would this should be the choice column 
because title is a drop down where we are going to say uh, Mr. Mrs. and all. So, uh, but for now, as SharePoint provides this title column by default, we cannot change the column type. So I will keep it as it as it is. And while developing the Power Apps application, we will change that free text to drop down. So for now, just ignore the title column. Then let's create the first name column. Then middle name. Then last name. Then date of birth. Date of birth will be of column type date. Click on this add column. Select the date and time. And from the tape, select date and time. Okay, that is already there. So we don't want to include the time. So we can keep this off. Click on save. Then age will be number. Then present address will be multiple line of text. Oh, I have uh, mistakenly created number as column. It should be age. So I can delete this column. And I can create the age column again. As a number column. Then let's create present address for multiple line of text so here you can see multiple line of text is selected then let's create another column called as permanent address the next column would be job title and now this is a choice column because we are going to provide ability to select the job title from a drop down so let's create the job title as choice column. Now provide the choices as these. So you can just copy paste it and it will get automatically pasted and remove the choice two and choice three. Default value is none and click on save. Then create a department as choice column. So we have five departments. You can paste it here. Remove choice two and choice three. Default value as none. Then create the personal email address field where the employer can save the employee's personal email address so it will be single line of text then employee number then bank name Then bank account number. You can use bank account number as number field as well. But for now I am using it as a single line of text. Then date of joining would be a date column. And date of exit would be again a date column. I have missed one column which is like a uh, phone number so I can add it here so for now let me add the phone number as well and it will be again a single line of text phone number 
okay so in this way we have created our sharepoint list schema or we can say a sharepoint list is created for employee database application and now in the next video we are going to create the power apps screen so if i switch to power apps course and if we navigate to our course content in the next video we are going to create a landing screen to show all the employees uh, so for now i will say let's try to create one employee from here itself so i will say mr first name is mayuresh middle name dinkar last name joshi date of birth as 21st september 1993 or you can select from here as well then age would be 29 present address would be pune permanent address would be pune job title as software developer department as information technology personal email as let's say i'll put test at the rate gmail.com employee number as emp001 bank name as test bank account number as 1234 date of joining i'll keep it as 2019 date of exit is not uh, there because i'm an active employee let's say and phone number is 1234 so i'll just see here it should be 09 21 1993 so if you see i'm just creating an item using the sharepoint list behavior so this is a sharepoint list form and we are going to automate this process with not automate but we are going to create a power apps application where we can customize these fields we can customize the look and feel of this and that data will get stored in the employee database sharepoint list so for now i'm just creating the item from sharepoint list form and clicking on save and you see that the uh, item got created now as i said in the next video we are going to create a landing screen to show all the employees so i created this item just uh, for your understanding so that when we create that uh, landing screen i will be able to see this this entry uh, there so i hope you are now cleared about what we are going to do in the uh, employee database application what are the requirements and how we can how we have created the sharepoint list for this application so let's meet in the se second video of this employee database application development till then if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section Till then, thanks for watching and have a nice day.